Hello everyone. So in our previous video, we have created the model as well as we have installed the necessary NuGet package in our solution. Now let me show you how you can deserialize the JSON response. So first I'm going to create a test method, public void test deserialization of JSON response. The attribute with this method is test method. And I'm going to copy this piece of code to the current method where we are sending the request and capturing the response. Let me comment out this line of code. Now, in order to deserialize, use the following syntax. So JSON convert. Okay. And let me remove the namespace from here. So JSON convert, press control dot. and import the namespace that is newtonsoft.json and there is a method called deserialize object this is a generic method where we need to supply the model so the model in our case is json root object and the argument to this method is the response data which is inside the rest response dot response content property now, if you look at the return type of this particular method, it returns the same type, whatever we supply as an argument to this generic method. So this will become the return type. That means the object of the type which we are supplying as an argument to this generic method. After that, I'm going to use just console.write line. to invoke to a string method on this instance. Okay, let me put a breakpoint over here and run this script in a debug mode. So I'm going to do a step over. Okay, so as you can see here, we are getting the exception and it is talking about the JSON array. That means it is considering this as an array not a single object but an array of object so to quickly fix this i'm going to just change the model here so i'm going to just use the list And similarly, this becomes the return type. Now, as we have a list, in order to access the value inside the list, we need to use the index. So here I will supply the index as zero because in our response, there is only one JSON object. So again, let me put a debug point over here and run this script in a debug mode. So step over. So as you can see here, see here the deserialization happened properly. Now I can access the information after the deserialization. So JSON root object as it's a list. So I need to use the index in order to access any value in the list. So index is a zero dot brand name. So this is the value of brand name. Similarly, ID, laptop name. and features so features is again a list so we need to use the index to access the value inside the feature list so at zero at one at two okay so as you can see here how easy it becomes after doing the deserialization uh, that you can access the information which is coming in the response so this is how you do the deserialization of json response that's all for this video and thanks for watching